Happy Monday everyone, you're watching video 83 and today we are covering July's real estate performance. Most people out there are aware how the summer season impacts our real estate markets and considering that we are nearing the end of our summer season in 2019, it was very interesting to look back at the statistics of how July performed and see where we stand as far as with this year and comparing it to last year. So as usual, we're going to be looking at median prices. We're going to be looking at what kind of units sold and went under contract, and then we'll be finishing out with some expired listings. So if you're ready, I'm not going to waste any more time and we're going to jump right in. When looking at July of last year, we saw a 16% increase in new listings entering the market. And when looking at the last seven months of real estate data, July comes in at number four as far as the busiest month for new listings. Now when it comes to for sale listings or existing inventory on the market, we saw a 6.6% decrease from July of last year. Additionally, so far this year, July has been the lowest amount of inventory that we have seen. In terms of contracts, we saw a 15.7% increase from last July. And believe it or not, July came in at number three, only trailing behind April at number one, March, and then July as far as contracts for the month. Now what really matters, sold listings. We saw a 7.1% increase from July of last year. And in terms of so far this year, June and July come in at third, only falling behind May and April. Pricing is something that's very fun to report on. And when it comes to median price for for sale listings or active listings on the market, we saw a decrease of 1.6% when looking at July of last year. So. To give you a comparison, uh, this takes us from about 315,000 for the median asking price from last year to 310,000 this year. There's been a minimal change in the median price for under contract properties when looking at July of last year. It's maintained around $295,000. Another crowd favorite is the median price of sold listings. So we saw a 2.5% increase from July of last year, which is a very healthy and sustainable growth. Think about this in terms of appreciation. So right now we're hovering right around 290,000 for that median price of sold listings. And a metric that proves to remain constant is that average sales price to the original list price, which hovers between 94 and 95%. Now to put this into relative terms for you, this is why you have properties listed at $310,000 and they close at 290 or 295,000. Another metric that people really enjoy is the continuous days on the market or the CDOM. Um, when looking at July of last year, we saw an 8.7% increase, which took us from 60 continuous days on the market to 65. And when looking at the last 12 months, the average time that a property sat on the market was 70 days. And a little fun factoid for you, when looking at July of this year and looking at just the rest of 2019, July is actually the quickest moving months when looking at properties that went under contract. And my favorite metric to report, expired listings. We saw a 62.3% increase in expired listings when looking at July of last year. And a couple little fun factoids for you. So, so far this year, July has outperformed every single month in terms of expired listings. And this is probably due to listing agreements that were signed in January and it took six months and the property did not sell, whether it was due to pricing or exposure. And uh, fun factoid number two, if you look at the last 12 months, this last July has outperformed every single month in terms of expired listings. All right, guys, so my three big takeaways are going to be as follows. One, July was the lowest amount of inventory that we have seen so far this year. Following up with number two is July was actually the highest amount of expired listings that we have seen in not only this calendar year, but in the last 12 consecutive months. And coming at number three is despite both one and two, we still saw a 2.5% increase in the median sold price. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you appreciated this video and I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section. Other than that, you know the drill. I'm going to see you next Monday.